How's it going guys? Josh here with Tracks RC and today we will be again upgrading the rear differential in our Stampede 4x4. This video is kind of a continuation to a previous video that we have done and we'll put a link to that video right up there. And in that video we installed the X01 diff internals into our Stampede 4x4 rear differential. The X01 diff internals are just a lot more beefy and it'll just preserve the life of our differential. And like I said, we'll put a link to the video right up there. So if you haven't seen it, I would go suggest you watch that video first and then you come back and watch this video. So today we will be installing the Traxxas helical cut ring and pinion gear for the rear. And then we're also going to be installing some longer screws that hold the ring gear in place because we forgot to install these last time. We hope that these helical cut gears are a lot stronger than the stock ones because we have had issues with the stock ring and pinion in the past. So we're going to rip apart the rear assembly and our stampede and then we're going to put you guys back on once we have the diff out. Alright guys, now that we have the diff out of the stampede, what we need to do now is remove that grub screw right there holding on this drive cup. And then we also need to remove the pinion gear and that just pops out of place and then it falls right out. Next we're going to slide off this bearing and set it off to the side. And then we're going to remove these four screws right here. Now we're just going to gently pull the ring gear off of the diff cup. And then we want to push this spider gear out, making sure that the seal is still on it. And then we can set that off to the side, set the ring gear off to the side. And now we just want to pull this seal off. And now we can open up the new ring and pinion. So doing a quick comparison between the new gears and the old gears, obviously they are different colors. This one's black, this one is like more of a silver finish. And then the new gears are obviously spiral cut and these are straight cut. Something else to mention is that the new gears are actually a lot heavier than the stock gears. I wish I had a scale or something to weigh them, but I don't, but you could obviously tell that these are a lot beefier. Even if you compare the size of the pinion gears, the new one is just a lot more beefy. You can see the size difference. Yeah, I hope that these are as good as they look. And if we compare the ring gears, there's not that much of a difference in the center portion where the diff cup is, but on the back, this one is a little bit more flat than the stock one. And some other good design choices that I see on the new ring gear compared to the old one is that they got rid of this little bump right here so that they could make the teeth bigger on the new one. All right, so let's stop talking about these things and start installing the new spiral cuts.
Alright guys, so the new ring and pinion is installed and we have a problem. So the problem that I'm seeing is that if I just like roll the car on the bench, it starts to like, it's hard to explain. It like, that right there, like kind of stops in a way. If I demonstrate again, I'm just pushing it and it kind of hesitates, like it gets tight right there. You could hear it too. I'll do it again. But I could easily push it through it again. See? It gets really tight right there. And I was driving it around on the floor in the workshop a little bit and it drove fine. So I don't really know what the problem is. But I am thinking that because the new ring and pinion is a lot different than the stock one, it causes a little bit of a change in the gear ratio. So now I think that the rear end is spinning at a different rate than the front, which is not good in a basher. But I was just driving it around on the floor in the workshop a little bit and it drove fine. So basically I'm asking you guys, do you think it's safe to drive or should I just not drive it until we upgrade the front diff to the new ring and pinion as well? One thing that I do want to address before we end this video is why we had to get different screws. Specifically the screws that hold the ring gear to the diff cup. In a previous video we did the X01 diff mod and it converts the internals of the diff and all those gears to an X01 style diff. And the X01 diff cup requires longer screws that holds the ring gear to the diff cup itself and we did not install those in that video so that is why we installed them in this video. And here you can see that the shorter screw is actually the stock screw and the longer one is the new one. So the new screws are definitely going to hold better to the diff cup. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Again, if you think that we should just wait to drive this thing until we get the upgraded ring and pinion for the front diff, just let us know in the comments what you think we should do. I'm leaning towards the idea that we should just play it safe and wait to drive it until we get the upgraded front gears, but I want to hear what you guys think. But like I said before, just driving it around in the workshop a little bit, it felt fine. I didn't really notice anything too significant. But that was at slower speeds, so at higher speeds, I guess it could behave differently. So we'll just have to see. Again, if you have any thoughts, comment down below what you think we should do. Alright, so enough with that. Our Stampede is really coming along great. This is probably one of our favorite bashers. This or our 116th E Revo. But those two cars are just so much fun to drive. And we'll just leave it at that. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on Tracks RC. Alright guys, so this clip is being filmed after the fact when we finish that video. And I'm just adding it to the video so that you guys can see this. So this does prove that the gear ratio is different. I have two pieces of duct tape on the tires and they're in the same spot. And you can see that they are not aligned. So yes, we will have to wait to drive this thing until we get the upgraded gears for the front diff, so then both of these will spin at the same rate. All right, cue the outro.